Hi everyone, welcome back to the Container Garden series. This series is all about growing veggies in containers, no matter if you have a small space to grow in or you just wanna expand your growing space. But a lot of people these days are growing in a small space. As you can see from behind me here, there's a lot of veggies that you can grow in a very small space. And today's video is all about how to make a DIY potting mix to fill your containers. Now, soil is by far the biggest investment you're gonna make when you're gardening, especially in containers it can really add up but today's video will show you how to do that in a quick simple and inexpensive way so that you can save a ton of money on your soil the first ingredient in our DIY potting mix is coca core now when you purchase coca core it comes in one of these compressed bricks and you guys might remember this from the seed starting video in the spring garden series. You can grab a large brick like this, or you can also get a smaller type of brick if you don't wanna make so much. And what you do is you put this in a tub of water to hydrate it and it expands. And then it looks something like this. So a, a brick this size, makes about a wheelbarrow full of coca core. Didn't make quite that much today, but I do have some here already pre-hydrated. Now coca core is nice and spongy. It actually holds up to 10 times its weight in water. It doesn't break down very quickly, so it's a good thing to add to your potting mix because that means you have a lot less soil shrinkage. So what I'm gonna do first off is put four parts of coca core into my bin here. And a part is just anything that you wanna measure with. Here I'm just using a little milk jug that I cut the top off, but you can use those pots from the nursery that you buy your transplants in. You can use any kind of scoop you want. So we'll throw four scoops in here. And I love the smell of coca core. It kind of smells like a coconut, but basically it's a byproduct of the coconut industry. So it's very sustainable and it's also very inexpensive. So I got three scoops in there, one more scoop, and then we're gonna add our second ingredient. Coca core really helps your potting mix retain water and gives it a lot of good aeration. The second ingredient you wanna to add to your DIY potting mix is compost. Compost is what us gardeners call black gold. It's that nice, rich, nutrient-dense material that will add a lot of good nutrients to your potting mix. And this is homemade compost, so you can save a lot of money if you make your own compost. But if you don't have your own compost, you can definitely buy bag compost at the garden center. You can see mine still has some sticks and some leaves and little particles of um, eggshells and things like that. I haven't sifted my compost, but you can definitely do that if you want a finer potting mix. So I'm gonna add two parts of compost here. We've got our first two ingredients in our tub here. We've got our coca core and our compost. Now our third ingredient we're gonna add is worm castings. Now we all know how great worms are for our garden. And when worms decompose the organic matter in the soil, they excrete worm castings, which are super high in nutrients and are a great soil amendment. They're gonna add a lot of nutrients to our potting mix. And I'm using the Vermistera worm castings. They're nice and fine. And worm castings also improve the soil structure and add a lot of good drainage and aeration to your soil. So I'm gonna dump in one part of worm castings to our mix. The fourth ingredient in our DIY potting mix, this is so easy, you guys, is organic vermiculite. Vermiculite is kind of a spongy, silvery mineral product. And it has little layers in it when it gets wet, it expands and really gives your soil good water retention and helps it from becoming compacted. So I'm gonna add one part vermiculite to our potting mix here. I just love how all these ingredients look here in this bin. They're gonna be fabulous in our containers and grow us a lot of great veggies. Next, what I'm gonna do with my recipe here is just get in with my hands and mix it all up really good. Make sure all the ingredients are incorporated together. And the DIY recipe here is especially great if you're filling a lot of large containers so you don't have to spend as much money on potting mix. You can make as much of it or as little as you want. And it doesn't expire, you don't have to use it right away. If you wanna save it for later use, just let it dry out a little bit, cover it with a lid, and stash it away till you're ready to use it. This mix is just so nice and light and fluffy. And I like that I'm using my own compost too. This mix will make about enough to fill a five gallon container. Here we go guys. Our own nice, light, fluffy DIY potting mix. It's beautiful. 
Now let me just show you my mix here. Um, this pepper's been growing in the DIY mix for a couple of weeks, doing absolutely fantastic. So I'm just gonna fill up this orange container with our new potting mix here. I just love how light and fluffy it is. And by the way, guys, the Vivid Color 5-gallon Calicum Smart Pots are now back in stock. And you can grab them over at calicumgardenandhome.com and use the code SUMMER for 20% off through Wednesday, June 2nd. Grab your seed collections, your container garden seed collection, your seed book bundle so you can grow along with us in the container garden series. This recipe made just a little bit more than would fit in my five gallon container, so I have a little bit extra for my next planting. But let me know if you're making your own potting mix, what you're growing in containers, and make sure that you do subscribe so that you don't miss the rest of the container garden series. And I do have a container garden seed collection, which has 11 varieties of container friendly veggies so that you can grow a lot of veggies in a little bit of space. So grab this over at calicumgardenandhome.com, along with my book, it has lots of container gardening tips and gardening tips in here. And if you grab it as a seed book bundle, you can save $5, then use that code SUMMER to get an additional 20% off through Tuesday, June 2nd. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.